Molly Stark Hospital, formerly known as Molly Stark Sanatorium, resides in Louisville, Ohio, and is one of only 25 tuberculosis centers in the whole state. It is named after General John Stark's wife, Molly Stark. General John Stark was an officer in the British Army in 1777 and is named after Molly Stark because she acted as a nurse in the Army during the war and used her house to help injured soldiers. The hospital opened on August 23, 1929 and remained open for over 65 years. The hospital is designed in a V-shape with the east wing and a west wing and the main entrance being in the middle. The building was designed with many windows so patients could always have fresh air and there is also beautiful architecture all around the building, including many arches and columns throughout. In 1938, 1,200 feet of tunnels were installed to make transporting patients easier from one wing to the other wing. Throughout the years, tuberculosis started becoming less deadly, so the hospital was not getting as much business as it was used to. In 1956, the hospital started taking on more physical rehab patients, some elderly patients, and even people with substance abuse. In 1970, the last of Molly Stark's remaining tuberculosis patients were transferred out into different hospitals. For the next 25 years, Molly Stark remained in operation. Although its original intent was a tuberculosis center, it was not being used for this anymore. Therefore, it was not getting as much business and it was having trouble making money. So Molly Stark Hospital eventually closed in 1995. Since 1995, the hospital has sat empty. It was like everyone dropped their stuff and left. The city of Louisville began to have problems with people trespassing, so they had to put up a fence. Though they put up a fence around the building and put signs everywhere that said no trespassing, people still cut the fence and went in. This is where the paranormal activity started happening. There have been many accounts that people have heard beds dragged across the ground. People have even said that they have heard their names been called when they swear they were there by themselves. This legend is so popular that over 60 people have been arrested for trespassing. Everyone says that they are on a quest to find the paranormal activity, according to Louisville Police. And now we will interview she who shall not be named about her experience in this haunted place around 15 years ago. What made you interested in the Molly Stark Sanatorium? I think for my friends and I, I would have to say it was just the architecture and the local folklore that goes along with the building you know just a bunch of kids curious about the large abandoned building that was known to have so much history to it I guess okay so after you guys found out about Molly Stark what made you actually decide you wanted to really go check it out um again just being curious and being dumb kids we were wanting to do something around Halloween and what better place to go around Halloween than an abandoned building that just kind of sits out there in the middle of cornfields. Um, you just think that there's has to be some kind of truth to all of the paranormal claims that come out of there. All right, so how did you guys actually get into the Molly Stark Hospital? <laughs> I'm not going to give you too much detail because it is trespassing and I don't want to give you guys any ideas. But I will say that when we were there, there wasn't as much security because they hadn't built the fence and Stark Parks hadn't purchased it at the time. So it was a little bit easier. Um, we were able to get into the building by a window that had already been busted out by someone else. Once inside, what was your initial impression of the building? Basically, what you would expect. It's dark and eerie. It's oddly chilly. The hallway was dark, and it just branched off into a bunch of separate rooms. I believe we were on the second floor, and I think what was odd about that is there's just there's just so many windows and verandas because I guess when it was used as a tuberculosis hospital that's where they would put the sickest people so they would get the most light and fresh air so um, that was unique for the building but also just the paints peeling away from the walls the light fixtures were hanging from the ceiling it's just basically like everyone packed up and left leaving I mean there's metal beds still in there there's chairs desk 
It definitely lives up to its creepiness. While you were there, did you guys experience any paranormal activity? Well, I mean, I'm familiar with all of the stories that go with the building. I mean, there's lots of stories of people hearing, like, steel frame beds being dragged across the floor. Um, Some people have said they've heard chains, hearing their names called out. Um, There's even one story that... Is in, that's been told over and over about a brown suited apparition that appears and ghostly figures in the windows. Um, I mean, there's definitely a sense that there's something there, but no, I didn't hear or see anything while I was there. Do you think you would ever go back? Well, illegally, no. I mean, they've taken great lengths to stop people from going in there. I mean, they've removed trees that were close to the building. They've put the fence up. I mean, no, I I definitely wouldn't do that illegally. But legally, yes. I mean, I really hope that they do something with it. Um, Now that I'm older, I really appreciate the architecture and the history that goes with the building. I mean, it would be a real shame for it to be torn down, but I guess the reality is it's been vacant for like 26 years now, and it may not be salvageable for much longer. So we went and visited Molly Stark Hospital, and we got there like in the evening, so it was already kind of creepy. And the building itself, you could definitely tell it used to be nice. The architecture is really pretty, but it's just covered in like moss and like leafy grass all over. And there's a fence around it, and as we walked around, we saw more and more holes cut in the fence, and some of them were covered up, but some of them, obviously, I mean, they can't cover every single hole up, so there were some open, so we know that people go inside, um, but it's obviously not that safe to go inside, because we saw some pictures online, and they were just not the nicest. And there was, like, a, another building, like, 300 feet away from the actual hospital, and it was uh, what we believe to be like a check-in area, like a sign-in area for the patients. And it is, it's not as big as the hospital. It's, really, it's actually really small. But it, it's, it would it would have been uh, really fairly nice back when the actual hospital was built. The architecture is nice inside of it. But it has the same look as the hospital did on the inside. There's ceilings falling out. There's debris and everywhere. And uh, it's all grown over. There's weeds and bushes all grown over. So, And back when it was originally built, it would have been pretty nice. But now it's just all grown over and it's not as nice as it was. And that building, we were actually able to look inside because there wasn't a fence around it, so we could get closer to it. And we looked inside one of the um, windows, and it was just really, like, crappy in there. The insulation was all over and everything. So I think even if you could go inside Molly Stark Hospital, you wouldn't be able to do much because there was just glass everywhere. I mean, you could see all the broken out windows and everything was just completely destroyed. So I actually think there's paranormal activities in the hospital because when we were there, uh, it was just a really creepy feeling you got, and when we were talking to some other people there, they've um, heard of people having experiences of uh, with like ghosts and stuff inside the hospital, which is pretty cool. And it, I just the feeling you get is really creepy, so I think that there is uh, some paranormal activity within the hospital. 